Welcome to Bridge the Gap, a show where we aim to build a bridge of understanding between opposing views. Each episode, you'll see our participants sit down to discuss some thought-provoking statements. I have had a spiritual experience. If they disagree with the statement, they'll leave their seat and allow those that agree to explain themselves. I used to be part of like the homosexual lifestyle for a while, for like a couple of years. And my spiritual experiences, it manifests physically as in like, I'm being changed all the time. Those that disagree then return and express <laughs> themselves to the rest of the group. <laughs> a lot of our ancestors used to dance for rain. And when you guys mention your spiritual experiences, respectfully, to me, it sounds like when they would dance for rain and the rain would actually come. Hopefully building a bridge of understanding. Let's see what happens. Statements of absolutes. Sorry, I keep taking this. Oh, oh, you're gonna sit there? Yeah, there's definitely nuance. Oh my god. Like that. <laughs> but for the sake of not agreeing with them. <laughs> I think I'll just start by saying that some of these, I, the way, obviously, I understand the way these questions need to be phrased, etc. But I feel like they're statements of absolutes and there's something, and there's nuance to it. And so even though I'm sat here, obviously, to state that, like, I agree. I'm also not convinced that that is, is you agree like a to some degree. yeah to some degree. There's obviously like conditions and stuff like that. But in the context, obviously, of the financial exploitation um, of religion, I think that this was um, this is just like that is like a continuum that you have that you see in um, throughout religion, be it from the um, 14th century, 13th century, 1918, all the way to the obviously the 21st century. I feel like. The way that the um, speaking on um, the fact that religion, religious um, building, religious so like churches and um, things like that, they are not taxed, right? So um, I was reading somewhere that a lot of the money that is donated to the Catholic Church go because it's not taxed goes towards bribery and paying off paying lawyers etc and paying off families of people who have of the children who they have abused and settling court cases so a lot of the donations that people are given to these establishments and these institutions go towards justifying and alleviating the responsibility um, of um, the responsibility of um, these religious figureheads, the um, yeah, and the accountability. So I feel like financially there is, <laughs> it's never really made sense to me personally. That's I think this was one of my qualms that I, one of the qualms that I had with religion. This idea that as you're supposed to be worshiping this metaphysical entity, right? This deity that has no physic that has no physicality. Right, but I have to do so through this building. Not necessarily have to, because obviously um, not every religious person attends a physical place for worship, but obviously talking about those who do, this idea that you have to go to this physical place to worship this metaphysical entity, and I have to pay to contribute in maintaining this physical building that isn't really necessary, because I see it as a middle, as like a middleman um, in my, communication in my line of communication and address all to um, this deity that I believe in, to me, it's never really made sense. I think the whole idea of tithes um, and shaming people as well, there's, that happens a lot. Um, you get people who are being shamed into, um, because of like little donations. You have people, obviously even it's their autonomy, it's their decision to make, but you have people who um, are literally giving almost all of the money that they have into the, <laughs> for prayer, um, their pastor or their um, imam, etc. obviously the ones who are very money hungry, who are greedy in that way and gluttonous with money. Um, you have them saying, oh, give this money, give this amount and this will happen and acting as if there's a, cause, there's a causality and a causal link between the amount you donate and how much of your finances you, um, sacrifice or um, invest, if some people want to consider it as mm -hmm. that, um, into the um, into their place of worship. But at the end of the day, it's there's no causal link between how much you donate and the results that you're going to get. Shayo, I'm born. I feel like, yeah, go, go ahead, jump in. <laughs> no, because even from the beginning, I said, um, I believe religion is, well, from a Marxist perspective, so Karl Marx, obviously, economist, philosopher, great thinker, like he said, religion is the opiate of the people. So when he said that, he basically meant that 
um, people are suffering out here and religion is one of the tools used to kind of keep people con just like, oh, you can work hard, you be a good person, you don't have to kill your masters and um, in the afterlife you'll get some, what, like you go to heaven, you enjoy, you live up life of um, God and stuff. But like it's a tool used to keep people down and the reason, so I wanted to break it down into history and present. History, I feel like religion has been used to exploit people financially. I think the example used of the Catholic Church, the churches in general is a great example. Like the Catholic Church, if you look at any church from here to, to Rome as well, gold, gold stained windows, these buildings were it's so expensive to produce. Where did the money come from? What, do they, what is their job, these, these preachers? Symbolic. Their job is to exploit people and take in their money and, and use it to build these lavish um, celebrations of their faith. And, you, and even on the bus here, I was reading an article in the FT about the Vatican, like renovating a giant um, apartment in the middle of London with swimming pools and stuff and having parties. And these are like people that are supposedly men of God, God. And I feel like it's the same in other religions as well. And you can just look at where religions have been tied to the establishments of any country. And of, well, who are the people at the top? Why do they have so much money? I think we should think critically. And even present, what you described about is called prosperity theology. So it's kind of like a capitalist version of, of Christianity where you go to, especially in Africa and, and South America, where you go to these churches, you invest your 20p, it becomes two pounds, your two pound becomes 20 pounds, whatever. Like it's gambling, isn't it? And it exploits people that are already suffering. They're the downtrodden. And um, it uses their desire to be better and gives them this, like, this capitalist vision of, oh, pray, um, do this stuff, invest in us. And look at the rich um, pastor driving a, 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 what is it, a Hummer Maserati. or a Maserati mm. or, you know, or a, flat, a private jet. And you can be like this. And it's disgusting because it's capitalist and, it, and it, because it exploits people who are deeply in, in pain and deeply suffering. And it's one of the, I think it should be abolished across the world and especially in Africa because I don't understand how people that are the most religious and the most poor don't understand yeah. what's the correlation. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait for them to... Yeah. Yeah, so, um, I think the issue that I take with it the, the most, I think it's two things, is that there's other secular societies or humanist societies where they do a lot of good for communities and I don't see any difference in why they shouldn't be able or entitled to you know certain tax in, tax exemptions uh, maybe if they're a charity but um, but across the board I, I don't think it's um, it's fair and equivocal and I think the the second thing is the fact that somebody thinks if I give money then that would get me closer to um, this deity I think that is problematic. People have to pay for the crimes that they commit and uh, it needs to be brought to light, especially within the religious community. I 100% agree. I feel like in order to like, prevent certain things from happening in the future and certain things from carrying on, we need to, you know, as part of believers in our communities, we, we can't just like close our eyes and shut our ears and be like, this isn't happening. Mm -hmm. We need to come to terms with this and, um, ask why why are these individuals why are these leaders behaving in the way that they do and how can they be held accountable i disagreed with the statement just just because i think um the re religion when it was set up um by jesus or muhammad or um siddhartha or Gautama, like whoever whoever originated the religion i don't believe it was their intention i, I think they were spiritually enlightened people who who wanted literally the best for humankind and mm. i don't feel like it you know, the institutions we have today are at all representative, representative yeah. of the, the kind of future that these amazing people had in, mind. had in mind at all. So I don't think it's, you know, it's religion it itself. It's the religious leaders mm. who are Thank the tyrants who, who need to be held, um, accountable. held accountable. That's why I didn't really, that's why I said in the beginning, I didn't really agree completely with it because it's a statement of absolute. Yeah. There's obviously a lot of, um, like I said, nuances um, within um, um, like religion, etc., and the whole um, tides and donations and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, these people, even though there is an element of um, exploitation from, um, on the part of the religious um, figurehead and the leader, mm. the person who is giving that money is not being forced to. No. Obviously, there's different, there's nuances within that as well. The people yeah. who are being emotionally blackmailed into doing mm -hmm. it, yeah. you know, oh, how, trying to quantify your belief. Yeah. Oh, if the more you believe, the more you should give, etc. You it's have tragic. that kind of narrative. You have people yeah. who are 
giving more because they can give more. Like I said, there's a lot of nuance to it. Mm. And I think that obviously these, um, like I think in the earlier conversations, one of the earlier conversations we were talking about how um, the church, um, I'm not gonna say the church because then it's just kind of like the whole mm. thing, but there were churches um, and mosques who were giving and donating to, um, to like Grenfell and th things like that. So the um, churches, um, ch more charitable and more genuine churches and more charitable, more genuine mosques and more charity, charitable synagogues, etc., have always, do kind of like who do abide and follow those um the the charity um yeah. element of their religion yeah. well done to you because on because you don't you don't necessarily like have to it's just like a moral obligation in if that makes sense yeah. you get people who obviously will abuse that um but then on the other hand you'll also but get people who institute? are using is that's that's not again Mm. Who is behind this? Because there's a, there's a key denomination in all this. That, that no, that's the thing. I think people. it's in it's, 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 it's people. But we're not. I don't, no, I don't, no, think, it's, I don't think it is I think necessarily. It is. I think what, what it is is people doing what people do best. No, which is but like, then again, you're geez, okay. Not okay. Not but, but you this can't now human. compartmentalize can, the. No, can I add? I mean, just can I that they used to do that? Do you know what? Because it's a culture. It's actually a culture. It's a culture, but it's just another tool to do that to people. I feel like we're. Human beings are going to do what human beings do. And so it's just, t -t -t for example, fire. Let's, let, let's use an example like fire. Fire can be a wonderful thing. Fire can, you know, light up your home. It can cook your food. It can keep you warm. It can actually bring life. But at the same time, someone can use that same fire and burn your house down. Does that mean that the fire is evil? No, it's the human being that's using it. And so with that statement where it says, is um, religion a tool? to, you know, blind people. It can be, because human beings use it mm. all the time. Mm. They use it all the time, and people use all kinds of things. I feel like the whole world is trying to exploit, I've, London is trying to exploit me. It's so expensive <laughs> out here. Do you know what London, I'm saying? In tax haven. So it's just like, it, it, I think it's God. a very, it's a dangerous thing to kind of, kind of say that the institution, personally, I personally believe that there's even a difference between religion and faith. Mm. Like I come, I'm not, I won't even call myself religious. I'm just a person that believes the Bible. I'm a Bible believing yeah. child of God. You know? Why is that? Because, because, no, because, because, yeah. for example. Do you believe everything in the Bible, by the way? Right? Yes. And every single, thing. every single thing. And it's because, for example, with Catholicism, is the way that they believe and the things that they believe in their doctrines is actually extremely different to the doctrine that I personally believe in, my church believes. And so that's what I'm saying, in terms of religious is kind of like a big umbrella term that kind of- So quick, 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 quick question, quick question. Do you, yeah. Because you, you said something, Kintra, and I might be going off tangent, but you said that- Hey, 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 hey. I have to, I have to time. Uh, wow. me. <laughs> the way he's was... cutting you, he's looking at you right now, like, <laughs> Will, Will, Will was even setting it up. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was about to just. I was about to just. He's like, I was about to let it crack down. <laughs> that, that, that right there. Uh, He's like, cut. <laughs>